Welcome to JD and the Sump Sea. Thanks for joining me again, you guys. We're going to do a board build again. This one's harking back to before I started using oil paints again. Uh, this particular one even has a spinning board underneath so I can get a little bit better shots. If you notice me being a little green around the gills, that's because I'm using a green screen here. Woo we're upgrading things. Um, yeah, this is a transition tile going from the hive to the sump the hard way. Um, and welcome to the video. So here I am, um, yeah, unpacking things again. You know, it's packing, it's unpacking. <laughs> so yeah, I started with sump tiles. Uh, these are just plexiglass again. They have um, tissue paper and Mod Podge. Then I painted them. Uh, I made a video for it a couple uh, last year. Um, oh, well, here I am digging more stuff out. You know, when you do these boards and you have this to this level that I, I kind of do, you just really need to make sure you have space. Um, all right, so there's the transition pieces. Uh, those were old hive. Uh, uh, Warhammer 40k trench tiles that I dropped a big piece of concrete on the hive you know it's supposed to be from the hive ceiling dropping down onto it so these are my sump pylons um, yes they are nail holders you can hold nails and screws in there that's what they're for originally um, coated in Mod Podge and sand again and then I glued stuff to it uh, here comes some detailing for the actual transition pieces. Well, I'm rushing around trying to get this done because uh, this might be the fastest video I've ever shot and edited together. Um, and here we are, we're doing new green screen concepts and <laughs> all kinds of neat stuff. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so we got some, oh, yep, here's a tote. This is where the tiles actually come out. So. Um, these were made from a variety of different things. Uh, MDF printed little six inch tiles, which you've been seeing in the last two videos. Um, this also has some wooden stuff that I had. Uh, as you could probably see, there are old school Necromunda bulkheads scattered all over the place on this. And the idea here is we just put them on top of the pylons. Um, you know, this one's going to be a little tight because I didn't have the mind for putting oats into this video. I thought maybe that was a little bit too much. But it's going to be, you know, we're going to have walkways. This is on the sump. So this is supposed to be the marketplace in here. Um, that tile that's right in front of you there, that certainly does look like, oh yeah, that's the uh, relic, relic stall. Uh, that's a bigger one. I figured the Cawdor were there. Um, I'm going to be going through some of these, you know, as we go on here. Yeah, here's some spots. We're going to start setting up the uh, the ladders and the bridge ways to go in between. Um, yeah, you know, it's another thing. The scatter scratch concept came from this. Um, there's so many things that bridged out when I started making boards pretty extensively here um yeah this was really i really started getting into the nuts and bolts of uh making these boards it's uh it's kind of crazy so you just keep on building adding uh, all kinds of walkways and ladders and things like that. It's just, you know, this is always stuff that just gets built up. Okay, there's the chem dealer, there's Shady Dave's. There's a good final spin here. Some pretty crazy stuff's going on. <gasps> oh my God, there was Jay in one of my videos. We must be getting better at this. Just joking, you guys. At some point, Jay and I are going to be doing a video together besides a live stream. Um, I'm not sure exactly when that's all going to happen, but I wanted to take this time to uh, thank Badger Games for helping out the channel. Anytime you want to order from Badger Games, 
uh, add the code JD2024 to your order and you'll totally help out the channel. All right. So anyways, we are getting close-ups here. There's the chem dealer. Yeah, that was a large plastic vial and I'm using a lot of uh, old paint pots on that one. This was a great bust up. Like I said, on top of those, those are all the first of the 3D printed six by six tiles. Uh, the other ones were just wood ones. And we're gonna have a spin here. Take a look, there's a pumping station. There's a furnace. You know, everything's spewing crap out into the sump. Uh, looking for all kinds of character here. And again, a playable board. Um, you know, some figures could possibly get lost in this, but uh, not usually. Um, yeah, you know, you got a Beastmaster. You got some fabric. This was when I was first playing with the fabric in the Mod Podge, as far as that goes. This was all, man, I had so much fun building this stuff. And I still am. I still am getting more and more and more stuff added to it. We got oil paints now. We got power textures. We got all kinds of good stuff. Boy, am I just blathering on and on and on. Yeah, it's a cool board, Dale. Shut up. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Just get to the spin, dude. You guys ready for the final spin? So am I. again uh, I sure do do that a lot nowadays it's kind of nice when I was typing stuff early on but you know it's a thing thanks so much for stopping by you guys I really appreciate it I hope you like the upgrades in the video that I've made uh, thanks for your patience um, and as always please like and subscribe <laughs>